Sound Wavertron, and I'm here with the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout class. Ejector! Okay, so here we have him in his toaster mode! He's a freaking toaster! A transforming toaster! Anyway, so, um, here we have him. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of panel lines, and this is mostly on the legs, which I don't see why, because most of the little panels here don't need to be there. So that does take a little bit away from the figure, but he's still awesome, because he's a transforming toaster! Alright, so on the top you have the little uh, place where you can put the bread, which pops out as toast. Now, I kind of wish they painted this orange. I might do it myself, but I suck at painting. Don't judge my art skills. Right in the back, it is kind of open, but you don't really see anything. And you can see his face a little bit from the bottom in there. But who's really going to flip this up and be like, oh, oh, Decepticon. So, um, you got the little string back here, and on it you have the little plug to plug it into the wall. So that's, that's a really nice touch, and then that becomes his tail in robot mode. Now we have, um, these little pieces for the front of the, uh, toaster. And you have a button here, which doesn't move, it's just detailed on and painted, and a little knob. But we've spent some time going over the toaster mode, and now let's get on to his evil transformation. Alright, first thing you're going to do is take these, these are the legs, and you're just going to whoosh over that way, all the way back. Well, not all the way, you kind of want room for this part to hinge down. Oh, I spoiled it. Anyway, so do the same thing over here, just fold it all down, and then you can take the little feet from the back, and fold them so they're on the bottom. Do you see it? I hope you do. Anyway, so then, the same thing over here, just fold that part down. Why am I talking like that? Because I'm crazy! Alright, and then you're just going to rotate the legs around. Like that. Alright, and then you're just going to rotate the legs around. Like that. Bring this camera up because you can't see anything. Alright, so now that's what you should have. Legs. Alright. Oh, look, there's ejector. Toast. Alright, now what you're going to do is take this piece and hinge it down. Hinge down. Alright, that's enough. Okay, now you're going to take uh, this part and hinge that part down. It's on ball joints and rotate spinny things just hinge it down and that's the problem with these like you just observed they come off these ball joints way too easily and that to me is just a giant downside to the figure but they are easy to pop back on may take some time but they're pretty easy and if you can get past that it's quite the fun figure okay maybe they're not so easy Come on. And this is why he's a Decepticon, guys. Alright, got him. Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now, see, that's flat. Fold his head up. Alright. Uh, now, there's hinges here. You're going to hinge these forward all the way. Try not to pop them off the ball joints. Alright. Now what you're going to do is rotate the arms down, take these panels, flip them up, like so, and now you can take out these hands, rotate them all around, and flip out the hand, then fold that back down. Same thing on the other side. Take this hand out, open it up, and position it, and close this part. Accents are fun in reviews. Just like toasters. Don't stick your fingers in it, kids. Oh wait, you can't because there's no hole. Alright. And now, oh wait, yeah. Did I mention that? I don't know. These parts are the hands, the other hands, so you can flip that out. So he has four hands, so come up here and flip that out. Alright. So here we have Ejector. You can see this very menacing gremlin kind of thing here. Mainly, uh, just this door. You can see this very menacing gremlin kind of thing here. Mainly, uh, just this 
silverish and gray color. Uh, but he has some orange and uh, black in places. So here's his head, as you can see. If you want to, you can kind of make it talk. It has a little bit of articulation up here. And then on the mouth, on the bottom of the jaw. He's got his orange eyes, teeth. It's orange on the inside of the mouth. I really do like the head sculpt, but also he has a um, black Decepticon logo right there. He has, it kind of gives this kind of burn toaster on kind of effect with all this orange everywhere. Um, in there and in the crotch. Uh, four arms, as you can see. Uh, this one has three fingers here and a thumb back there, and this has the same thing, three fingers and a thumb. Uh, so yeah, very awesome. He still has the plug, which became his tail. It's pretty cool. On the legs, you can see the feet, three toes, and the orange paint down there. For his articulation, like I said, the head moves a little bit. Arms rotate 360 degrees. Or is that the shoulder? Because these are kind of the arms. These arms can go up and down. These ones are on ball joints up here, so they can go all the way around and stuff. And then these three fingers are articulated. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, boom. Okay. Um, no waist articulation, but the legs go forward, back, out, in. Bends forward at the knee. Rotates at the knee and the feet can go forward and back. So he's an awesome figure. Like, how can you pass this up? He's a freaking toaster! You can't pass up a transforming toaster. Now, it does have its ups and its downs, and it is somewhat bad, somewhat good, but it's a transforming toaster. You cannot pass him up. Go buy him right now, or he'll eat your face. All right, so guys, um... Thanks for watching, and this is Soundwavertron and Ejector signing out. Wait, what are you doing? What are you- oh, oh! Hey, a giant toaster. I like toast. Rawr. Rawr! Ha, that's revenge for the one time you gave me steroids and I turned into a mighty mug and you laughed at me and everybody laughed at me and felt bad and made me cry. Uh, Tony, did you forget that I can die? Crap.